हेलो सुधीर स्टॉप स्टॉप शेयरिंग यूर स्लाइड वी कैन सी इट नाउ ओके चेक हेलो या एम आई ऑडिबल या यू आर ऑडिबल या सो गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बी हाफ ऑफ एस एस पी पी सोसायटी फॉर स्टडी ऑफ पेन पुणे सो दिस इज द वेबिनार वी आर कंडक्टिंग एवरी मंथ एज अ पार्ट ऑफ आर अकेडमिक एक्टिविटीज सिंस द कोविड टाइम्स वी स्टार्टेड विथ ऑनलाइन वेबिनार्स विच हैपन एवरी मंडे लास्ट मंडे ऑफ एवरी मंथ and today we have esteemed speakers to deliver a topic and i can make out with the attendance what the enormous response we have with this attendance and participants with us and still we have participants joining but as we have said we are about to start it's already 8 o'clock and i welcome you all and now i'll uh, hand it over to our president dr joy shankar jana Yes, sir. Yeah. Very good evening to you all. On behalf of uh, Society of Study of Pain, Pune, I welcome you all, our all honourable members, honourable members from Mumbai, and honourable members from across India and abroad who are joining in today uh, for this scientific uh, clinical meeting. and uh, today we have excellent two guest speakers uh, for whom they are the pioneers in pain and they have been teaching pain for since uh, long and uh, they are promoting an uh, awareness of pain dr kailash kothari and dr sudhir dara and we are really proud that not only you are spreading the awareness of pain but also conducting uh, clinics uh, where you can teach pain to the new new pain consultants do here in pune we also have uh, two institutes bharti vidyapeeth and sasun hospitals who teach pain but we have also the young uh, generation who is also interested in teaching pain i think so the first uh, pain clinic uh, pain uh, uh, a fellow from uh, dr varsha who has already passed out now congratulations varsha and the next uh, is the dr kashinath uh, bangar and nivedita page who has also started uh, Uh, a program for teaching the young uh, pain consultants uh, coming across uh, from a state and across india so it's a really a great uh, honor that uh, we are spreading the awareness of pain and of course the topic today is that uh, kailash is going to speak about uh, from pain clinic to the pain hospital that's a fantastic topic it's a dream for everybody just like that i still remember when we were uh, are getting into post graduation the skin uh, dermatology there used to be a department only for opd now they have skin hospitals so uh, it's a fantastic uh, concept that from pain clinics to pain hospital and of course uh, sudhir <laughs> good old friend <laughs> using the social media as a marketing of course uh, sudhir must have gone from national to international having many centers all over the india and world <laughs> so spreading the awareness of pain and uh, dr uttam is our uh, coordinator for today of course he is going to introduce you formally to uh, both the speakers and um, i welcome all please enjoy this session give all your comments and feedbacks on the chat box so we can have a fantastic uh, discussion after the uh, two great lectures over to you uttam thank you thank you dr joy 
థ్యాంక్ యూ డాక్టర్ వర్ష ఆన్ ది బిహాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్ఎస్పీ యాజ్ వెల్ ఎస్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ పెయిన్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఇన్ ఆర్ మంగేశ్వర్ హాస్పిటల్ ఐ వెల్కమ్ యూ ఆల్ టుడే వీ హ్యావ్ సమ్ ఎమినెంట్ పీపుల్ అమంగ్ అస్ హూ హ్యావ్ డన్ సమ్ ఫైనరింగ్ వర్క్ ఇన్ ద ఫీల్డ్ ఆఫ్ పెయిన్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ వీ హ్యావ్ సమ్ డిఫరెంట్ అండ్ యూనిక్ టాపిక్ అబౌట్ విచ్ నో వన్ డిస్కస్ ఆర్ టాక్ మచ్ బట్ దోస్ ఆర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వెన్ యూ ఆర్ స్టార్టింగ్ యువర్ ప్రాక్టీస్ we have with us dr kailash kothari first he is going to deliver uh, his first uh, his lecture uh, both of them need not have any uh, they, they don't need any introduction but that, that is a formality i have to do so i will introduce dr kailash here he is a uh, immediate past president issp you all know he is a, a past editor in chief chairman of uh, miss uh, and endoscopy endospine society for endoscopic spine and interventional pain management he is attached to various hospitals in mumbai that is km hospital jagjivan ram hospital fortis global and apollo he has published many articles in the national and international journals of pain and orthopedic director of fellowship in pain management organize many conferences workshops and he has been invited uh, at uh, national as, as well as international levels as a speaker and uh, for various workshops i think he is one of the first pain consultant who started a chain of pain clinics under the banner of pain clinic of india in various cities including mumbai and goa uh, so he is going to talk about a journey of pain clinic to pain hospital whether it's a dream or it's a reality so uh, over to you kailash thank you thank you utam so you can start sharing your screen yeah yeah, yeah. Can you see? Yes, yes we can see. Visible. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Thank you all the organizers, especially Dr. Joy, Dr. Uttam, Dr. Varsha and entire team Poona. I am really thankful for uh, uh, getting invitation from your side and uh, the topic is also very very interesting i think everyone who is uh, starting his practice in any field they want to have their own setup and uh, if it is hospital nothing like it so basically <clears throat> uh the first thing is when you are starting your pain clinic you are thinking something big but always uh, on the back of the mind we think if a pain clinic hospital is a reality so we are just just discussing how we can uh, in uh, make this possible so when whenever you are starting anything uh, you have to make sure that you know the intricacies of your business uh, don't consider that uh, any any of the practice uh, which you are starting and you are investing in uh, as a mere a simple practice you have to think as a business itself and you have to know the mar- market So what is the market that is your consumers uh, in our case they are patients they are patients they are uh, the different kind of societies we are uh, surrounded by and in our country what is the what is the trend what what are the what patient, people want that that market we should know and uh, you know everybody is uh, must be watching shark tank the so shark what is shark tank shark tank is uh, where new ideas uh, people bring and uh, the sharks they listen and then they think whether it is a investable business or not an investable business so you you have to make sure that whatever you are thinking whatever you are planning it has to be investable and it has to be profitable if it is not prof- profitable then uh, you are not going to last more, long so no intricacies about your business and you have to know your market so you have to research you have to use the technology you have to use uh, various teams of your surgeons and uh, various other other uh, treatments what you, what you are going to uh, give to the patient including rehabilitation and uh, other there uh, so that your patient care is very good and you have to bring all the uh, expert expertise to uh, your team so that you can give a very good uh, bunch of uh, uh, team to the patients who are coming to you so <clears throat> this is one of the uh, opening statement in an editorial penned by henry mcquay who is a professor of anesthesia in oxford uh, university it is it has come in uh, a journal which says chronic pain is common but it isn't sexy that means 
people are suffering and suffering and suffering and it doesn't mean that uh, people who are suffering uh, who who are seen normal from outside but they are suffering from inside and it is it is uh, not good for them for their productivity for their family relation psychological everything is affected so when you are thinking that whether should whether i should go for hospital so investing in hospital in today's uh, world it is not a simple thing it is not a simple thing like you are you are not only investing in your land you are renting the land or you are uh, you know you are uh, employing many many staff who are going to run your show marketing people hr people people who are uh, managing your nursing your uh, or your rehabilitation everything so for that you should know from where your patients are going to come from where your income is going to come for that you should know what is the uh, burden of uh, this pain chronic pain so you should know what is the data so data is very strong thing when when you know the data you are confident about getting the uh patients or your consumers to your business so burden of chronic pain you should know on on your on your mouth on your tongue you should know by heart so if you see you should if anybody ask who is not a uh, from your pain pain specialty they will ask what is the burden of pain management then you should tell that patient chronic pain is almost 30% of the population is affected and it is it has gone up to 80% in some of the articles so there are many many articles which says that chronic pain is so 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 much uh, common that each and every person in their lifestyle suffer from some or other chronic pain now it is considered as a disease that is another thing which is which goes in favor of starting something which is specially treating that disease so chronic pain is a disease and you need hospitals to treat the disease so patients are active despite of pain or patient have lot of psychological issues uh, the pain acceptance and optimization is a goal of the uh, uh, your goal, goal of your team so you need to have multimodal treat, uh, treatment and that for that multimodal treatment you have a, you have to have multimodal uh team and there is enormous cost which society has to bear as a result of burden of chronic pain and suffering when society is bearing the cost okay they are spending so much on the on the uh, treatment and investigation there is someone who is giving these services and they are charging uh, to these patients and they are earning out of it so who are they they are the service provider and who are service provider they are the hospitals and doctors so you whatever expenditure whatever expenditure society is doing over the pain the direct gain is to the doctor and the hospital so we must know these figures very well in in other lectures where we talk about back pain neck pain and treatment modalities it is not that important we think okay that's uh, the, this epidemiology data and this uh, uh, cost data is not important maybe to learn the technique it is not important but when you are going for a business when you are expanding your business when you you want a clinic chain or even you want uh, hospitals to be built on a specific uh, disease you should know everything about that disease so you should uh, know that most of the patients have not received pain specialist treatment and 40% reported inadequate management of their pain and that gives a very strong uh, positive data data that a pain hospital will cater to this uh, unprivileged patient who have not received uh, proper treatment and pain specialist who can uh, who are very well trained and they can cater to uh, various uh, types of uh, pain patients give Uh, newer and uh, better treatments which are non surgical can be of very good help to the people and that is what uh, give you confidence that yes when i invest i am going to get a good return out of it 
So when you start your business, you want everything uh, to give good return. So India don't have much data, but if you see the data, simple, simple uh, things like absence from the chronic pain, 7.37 billion in Sweden. USA, common chronic pain, only absenteeism costs 61 billion of uh, expenditure. And annual economic cost associated with sickness, absence, and wor worklessness amount to over 100 billion world over. So this is huge data. There's no other disease which causes so much of uh, expenditure, so much of uh, disturbance in uh, work-life balance, and psychological balance. So pain hospital, can it be reality? This data shows, yes, it can be reality. And patients with chronic pain who are managed poorly uh, will bounce around the healthcare system, becoming more and more ex separated and consuming considerable resources. And those resources, if you combine and bring under one roof, that is pain hospital, you are ultimate winner. Okay, so these data are important as far as what's what is going to be income. So if you see the health uh, expenditure per patient on or or and on the healthcare system, so huge per patient Canada, uh, it is two thousand to four thousand uh, dollars Canadian dollars. Germany only back pain is thirteen point four four billion each year. That is why these hospital these uh, uh, countries they have huge departments of pain clinics and pain uh, pain department and whooping 1 billion for NHS for back pain only. So these are all why I'm showing because in India it is same and uh, we have number of patients who are paying from their own pocket. They may not be paying you in dollar but at the same time we have huge population. The number is huge. If we cater well and we use what Sudhir is going to teach us next uh, in next lecture uh, how to make sure that your facilities are being properly conveyed to all the population which is ar uh, lying around you. These are the chronic pain patients who can take advantage of that, come to your hospital and take treatment and hospital become viable. Viability is very important. If you see almost startups, if you see 80% of the startups, they fail because they don't have good plan. Even if they have good plan, they cannot execute it. Even if they execute well, they cannot manage it. So what you need is a complete chain of uh, a system which works well and you should be master of it. So these are all data. So there's an enormous data which support the view that of need of specialized pain management center with multiple uh, multimodal treatment options for effective and lasting pain relief. Uh, so multimodal is important here because in pain clinic, we as a single specialty with or without physiotherapy can survive because expenditure are not much. We are uh, running and uh, treating in one way. But when you it comes to hospital, you should have various departments which should be catering to different needs of the patient and patient should get everything under one roof. So opportunities as far as uh, pain hospital is going, it is staring at you. Okay, so you should answer this following question. Why I should start pain hospital? Huge population. That's our biggest advantage. Big proportion is suffering. We know from the data. Need is real. It is not that uh, uh, some other uh, specialists like uh, maybe physician or orthopedics or neurology can manage these patients. If they are able to manage, then why these 40% of patients who are there in chronic, with chronic pain, they are not uh, managed well? Why? So why? It is very important. Then plan. When you think that it is the uh, need is real and you can have a good uh, opportunity when you start your own hospital, you have to have understanding of proper business and what is a plan, what is the project plan where you are going to start it, what are the facilities you are going to give it, and what team you have. Ultimately, it boils down to the team of specialists, team of staff, right from nursing staff, rehabilitation, to your uh, grade C workers, 
everybody has to be trained well so that everybody can give a good service to patient and ultimately your your hospital will become uh, uh, very popular among the patients who are suffering in pain and there sh- should be mouth to mouth publicity so plan well and uh, again you have to have eager eye view you have to have business mindset think big it is not only one hospital it is not only one clinic you never know if you 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 go through the history of pain management or other uh, other specialties in us or in other countries european countries there are bigger players who are looking for good management who are looking for good doctors who are looking for good hospitals good clinics and they want to join with them they want to expand the lot of inquiries which keeps coming and they want to invest in the business of pain management in other healthcare system so you can have these opportunities you can expand really very fast with the help of these people you have to come together you may collaborate with your colleagues you may create a system where a uh, chain of clinics are there like uh dr sudhir is there dr das is there dr dureja is there so everybody dr suranga is there so everybody is thinking big but there is lot of hard work there a lot of learning you have to make sure that you know each and every aspect of your business well you can go for expansion over time you can really grow big with various ideas you have around you so learn and grow so understand the scope where where you can you have to set your goal where you want to reach uh, after 5 years where you want to reach after 8 years so for that you you have to learn because medicine is ever evolving science and pain management is no exception you cannot say i do root blocks and other things sonographic block i am okay a lot of new things are coming there regenerative medicine there endoscopy there is gene therapy there there are lot of things there are botox aesthetics so so many things are coming once you have a hospital you have facility to uh, give services of, for these facilities to each and every patient whoever required so you should grab the opportunity when you see it you should not wait for others to start and then say, uh, then you start there's no no point because uh, if you start first you have advantage and you have to understand that you are you are making a lot of difference in healthcare world when pain management was not there we all know what was the situation there were patients who were roaming around without any relief i i can say that because I, when i started there was no one uh, able to give a good service to patient even when i started i was not trained enough to Uh, give this kind of uh, services what i am giving today because learning happen over time when i taught to many people i also learned that is very important so make sh- make sure that you understand that you are unique each and every pain consultant who is learning pain they are unique there are very few like you in your area in your uh, city you have to keep ahead of the curve and make sure that you don't lose the advantage of be, of being unique you have to keep learning and learn the latest technology that is very important and as i told you that you have to be have to take first mover advantage by introducing introducing newer thing you have to invest in newer technology you have to uh, understand that most of the interventional technique we have we are using they are well tested they are over last 30 40 years 50 years uh, people are using in uh, various countries and right now we have, with uh, our experience maybe we have very big number of treatment uh, uh, patients load uh, we are treating them with the, this many treatment so technique technologically we are at par with everyone so make sure that you understand that you are not inferior to anyone okay so we have to make sure that we also uh, market ourselves as a non surgical best non surgical option for the patients who are suffering in chronic pain and that's the key we all know that's the key so never deviate from this key statement and 
authentic you have to to give your practice authenticity well, how do you can give authentic on the authenticity you have to get trained well once you get trained well it will give authentic authenticity to your practice automatically people will know how you are practicing what are the things you can manage and you can earn respect from the colleagues and that is how your referral system will work i i i hear from many people that they sit and they say nobody refers me they are uh, they never support me i think myself why i have many people who are uh, 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 referring me they are they are uh, believing in me there are many patients who are referring me and most of the people who are practicing over time and they are genuine practitioner they learned their pain management hard way they will agree to my uh, this statement that if you have you you are worth of it people will definitely come to you and they will support you they will send patients to you if you are not worth they will not send you cannot blame others for your failure so you make sure that you own it whatever failures you own it and then learn how to overcome these failures so this is one <coughs> chart ki how much uh, pain management is growing if you see this this from in 2020 it was just 2 bi- 2.8 billions and there is a growth of almost 8.9% per annum and over next uh, 10 years it is supposed to be almost 9 to 10% per year this equipment market is going to grow so who are using this equipment pain physicians if pain physicians are using this uh, these equipments it is not only pain the equipment companies they are going to grow it is a pain physician who is going to grow if they grow companies will grow so be a visionary understand the growth of the specialty it is growing at very fast rate if you get trained into all new technology technologies you understand which works which doesn't work and follow uh, your instinct you will be very very happy very very successful and your hospital will be very very successful so be a visionary that is very important so this is uh, these are the some of the hospitals uh, usa usa the picture is taken from there there if you see indian data it is said that pain management post operative and geriatric care most of the geriatric care they they are old people they have arthritis they have back pain they have a lot of other issues which where you need pain pain physicians it is likely to double to 35 billion by fy28 that's a red sheer consultant and currently the the value is 17 billion the business value is 17 billion so pain hospital can be reality if you have mindset and understanding the healthcare business that is very important you cannot just i have a land and i can start the pain hospital then you will have a ordinary hospital if you have understanding of your market understand what facilities you are going to give and have faith in your data then you can be very very successful so business model should be good there is an opportunity for success so research and plan it is very essential execute what you plan and don't deviate from your your aim it cannot happen that you uh, make a five year plan and uh, whatever you have uh, uh, planned for whatever goals you have every six month you change that goal you cannot do that and give your 100% work very hard have to have a good team you if you have a hospital uh depending upon the size of the hospital whether it is 5000 square foot 10000 50000 or 1 lakh square foot that you have to manage how big the team you need to make sure that hospital remains busy and you have a various kind of patient who are treated uh under your umbrella so multimodal team is important use all specialty specialties for growth of your business you never think that um uh in my hospital i'll not do any surgery okay you if your hospital is aim is that you will not do any surgery make sure the surgical patients 
they are referred to a right doctor in which is part of your team even if you are referring to other hospitals he should be under in, in your uh, circuit he should not go out of the circuit so patient should get everything under your circuit in in your circuit so your physician your rehabilitation specialist everybody should be around respect your team member you cannot say that i am better than the other one everybody make make sure that you take member in the team who is well qualified and who gives his 100% to your team then only you can respect each other and ego is very harmful when you are in business you have to be very very uh, diplomatic you have to make sure that everybody is happy right from uh, your ceo to your uh, very smallest uh, employee of your team and management should be crisp you have to assess the plan and its success and make changes whenever it is required and whenever there are failures if something is not working suppose you are working on marketing it is not working you are not getting number of patient what what you have planned you have to make sure you change in time you cannot keep dragging that same plan again and again and keep failing in that that will take toll on that that, that will be too costly for you take help of quality employees you can have uh, uh, various employees uh, which are who, who can help you uh, right from ceo business management hr and uh, marketing people and encourage your team with promotions incentive and esop esop is uh, employee stock options so you, you can give some shares of your company to him and uh, they can they will be happy because if, if company grows their their net worth grows so last slide uh, important characteristic uh, for successful pain hospital is you make sure that your demographic and market opportunity is uh, proper in any if you are making a, a proper size hospital at least the population which is you are covering is 30000 to 1 lakh should be there pain hospital advantage uh, patient gets all services under one roof unique model you have to create a unique model to market location should be strategic convenience and ease of access insurance coverage all the uh, patient should get uh, insurance coverage because like right now we see that most of the patient who are coming they have a lot of insurance and uh, private or uh, maybe government so you should have insurance coverage comprehensive scope of services to optimize the reimbursement then well trained strongly motivated physicians are very key uh, and it has to be led by pain uh, medicine trained anesthesiologists and make sure that you a person who is uh, leading he's he's well trained is uh, uh, keeping himself ahead of the curve and uh, he should have entrepreneurial well attitude a strong work ethic and financial incentive good training is a key to success and good incentive based program helps maintaining the team spirit focused marketing which sudhir is going to tell us that you have to use uh, two two prong marketing approach one is target the patient and target the referring physician you cannot ignore any one of it efficiency and uh, optimize the practice plan that means depending upon the workload you should have uh, enough room for your patient for waiting for uh, examination and uh, so patient experience should be good in your hospital once they come they should uh, go with happy memories effective billing and collections and you should always have five year projection and you should follow up the project this project plan know the source of your income from what are the sources from you are going to get income what are the expenditure involved in that every each and every expenditure should be noted and it should be uh, may, you should make sure that where you can cut down the cost that is the cost which is cut which is it is it is earned know your taxation depreciation all these thing thing uh, they come under business management so know your what are loans you are taking what is repayment schedule your credit should be good uh, know your legal accounting liabilities know your staff expenses esop uh, promote uh, the most profitable section of practice suppose you, you have a practice like uh, sudhir uh, he he talks to me and he says my regenerative medicine is working well so he's focusing on focusing on that he is trying to get most uh, number of patient who are interested in regenerative so you focus on area where your clinic is no is uh, famous for you 
optimize uh, the number of patients you are getting for that treatment and uh, know your staff expenses and uh, plan good marketing and plan budget analyze at regular time interval future this is very important once you start any hospital or small thing you can have opportunity to go faster by collaborating with different uh, uh, other uh, hospitals or clinics you can merge other clinics in your practice you can monetize that practice or you can sell your practice to other hospitals who are interested in buying you so you can uh, make multiple of your whatever you are earning today and there are bigger plans uh, which you should think of because there are few competitors at this moment you can multiply acquisition venture capital capitalist angel investor fundraising and ipo you can you can have a public uh, company in future so you th- have to think big and uh, i think hospital for every uh, pain physician is a dream and if they work on the dream they work on business plan it is uh, very much achievable and you should have timeline so you should make a blueprint and uh, make sure that what you are going to achieve at what interval and if you don't achieve make sure wh- you make find out the reason why you are not achieved it because success lies in planning so you can do it that's the message thank you very much thank you kailash for your excellent presentation we wanted to hear all these things from a uh, uh from you as you are experienced in that so we Thank will you. move on because of the law, short of time we will move to mm-hmm. uh, our next speaker uh dr sudhir dara hello yeah yeah i'm here okay. so i know sudhir uh, since long because uh, he was uh, attached with traveling pain school and i uh, did one workshop of traveling pain school in pune in dinar mangeshkar hospital so we are fortunate to have him here uh so uh, 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 sudhir is attached to various hospitals in hyderabad that is care hospital sunshine hospital he is a past gc member in issp honorable secretary in issp telangana state branch I hold india book records for maximum work in regenerative and i keep on listening about how many cases he did in a day <laughs> all that things so he is a uh, big man now and starting his uh, another branch in uh, maybe in uae i guess dubai yeah. and he has got a uh, lot of uh, one in hyderabad one in chennai and his dear friend so i introduce sudhir dara here and uh, uh, over to you sudhir yeah thank you Th- thanks all the organizers of pune ssp for giving me this opportunity so the previous speaker my good friend dr kailash has told you the, the in the whole of the uh talk no what we understand is there's a huge money is waiting for us to earn in pain medicine because no when we look at the healthcare profits healthcare profits in in any setup no if uh, the profit is around 15 to 20% that means that particular hospital or that particular clinic is doing excellently well so all the venture capitalists all the people who are having oh, thousands of lakhs of rupees thousands of crores of rupees they want to invest in such type of profit where no the profit is around 15 to 20 percent in any healthcare but as a matter of fact pain medicine has got a profitability up to 50 to 70 percent because you all know how much will be the you know uh, the cost of an intervention so basically the the profit range is around 50 to 70 so that means there is a lot of you know Uh, a revenue to be tapped by pain specialists because the burden is so much as uh, uh, rightly told by dr kailash so much in the society and so much so many people are waiting for this non surgical therapies because you no know, all the people are vexed with the surgical therapies there are lots of complications lots of surgeons coming out the juniors operating on you know different parts of the body and uh, the complication rate is slowly growing up because because of the surgical thing so people are the public need is no people are waiting for the non surgical therapies so let us understand how to market our own practice how to market our own the skill the the the, the special skill of uh, you know doing a pain management uh, of uh, not uh, sending the patient for any surgery so the disclaimer is the all the presentation what i have done is only my own 
experience of you know starting my own clinic epion uh, with a zero 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 you know revenue to 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 what we are today so in hyderabad i and dr minil has set up this in 2018 now five years five years after we are we are doing good and uh, you know a lot of uh, progression is there uh, going for uh, bigger centers and multiple centers a lot of fund funding people uh, investors are ready to you know uh, join with us so this is this is i have not taken anything from the internet books or research guidelines so one more very important uh, point which i need to tell you is this talk is useful for only those pain physicians who desire to earn, earn more money unlimited money in this specialty because in this marketing marketing whatever you want to do you need money so you need to invest money and you need to get more money so those people who can afford to uh, you know uh, put some money into the market they are the best people and once you start earning money in this pain specialty you will never go back so this is this looks a bit you know commercial but this is the thing what we do when we do uh, practice in a bigger way so marketing in any healthcare is a process of exploring creating and delivering value to meet the needs of target market in terms of services we don't have goods in terms of potentially including the selection of target so whatever you do you connect to your audience at right place at right time so there the days have gone where no uh, people uh, look for a doctor who is very famous no now people are looking for a doctor who is famous in the market so who whoever is visibly seen in the market whoever is like uh, you know uh, this guy is there in all the visible modules of people searching for the help for any healthcare so you need to uh, uh, be famous in the market by your visibility to all the needy people so that is marketing so what are the essentials of good marketing understand the product our product is giving non surgical pain management so if you understand what you are doing and you if you understand what uh, uh, um, the people are looking for is it really necessary in the society so you need to understand that that particular uh, area into consideration like you are opening something in pune so what is that need of non surgical pain management therapy uh, need in the public that's that analysis you should do and one more very important thing is how different is your skill like any orthopedician uh, if he wants to start his clinic or hospital and starts marketing he doesn't have any special things everyone does a knee replacement surgery everyone does orthoscopic surgery but if you want to say that i do uh, you know knee replacement surgery or orthoscopic surgery, better way no no one will uh, you know kind of uh, have any interest in that so in lot of uh, medical uh, specialties the the skills are almost like uh, you know equal for everyone so but in pain specialty the, the your skill can be marketed saying that you no know, Uh, my my pain management treatment is a non surgical therapy which can be a very beautiful alternative to any surgical procedure so that is that is essential of a, a marketing for for the pain management to be done population target so where we have, we have to uh, target like the chronic pain is generally it's it's after 40 years now you you don't target your marketing to a teenagers to college going students or youngsters very youngster so those people who are having more than 40 so that that's uh, that that that's where your 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 target should be it, it should be a more than 40 and, and and above so public demand so every you if you understand the public demand if for example for any sir, for any any chronic degenerative condition so most of the times no till almost like recently 5 years everything is by surgery everything is by surgery whether you take for the knee joint whether you take for the spine whether you take for the sh- shoulder joint but when you 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 ask few people no whether you want to get this procedure done by surgery 99% of the people they don't say no that means people are waiting for something which is uh, 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 you know devoid of surgery so there is a huge demand in the public to you know kind of you no know, Uh, embrace this speciality and you should have a, a fine uh, you know uh, uh, discretion how to reach the people what are all the ways where these people having chronic pain are searching so is it a newspaper is it a tv is it a facebook is it an internet is it a google or is it instagram or linkedin so you need to understand in your area wherever you put a practice you no know, you how to reach is more important 
so be, before that no if you want to start a, a, a practice or you want to market or you want to put some money into the market you should have a belief that no you need you, you have to have a belief to say to the patient that we can manage your pain without surgery if someone is starting a pain clinic and you you have a belief more on the surgery it won't work you have to have the patient the belief that no i can treat this patient i can keep this patient with me for a longer time without surgery if it is inevitable only we will send the patient for surgery so if you have the belief that no we can treat you treat that particular patient with a, with, with without any surgery and we can manage the pain and accordingly you counsel the patient send then your marketing is going to hit you like anything so that's it that is that is the most, most important thing you have to have a sensible marketing uh, so sir sensible marketing is like balance your spent and then so you you put 1 rupee in the market you must be getting 5 rupees out of it if you don't 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 get a you know 1 rupee even no it's 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 a, it's a waste of money so you need to balance the spent what you do and what you earn so that is a very very important thing and and then the planning of the marketing so have a budget for marketing so you built up your clinic with the 50 to 60 lakhs with all the equipment and the place and the rental and interior interiors and all but you have to have a budget for at least 6 months to start the show and start getting the patients and uh, start, you you need to be visible to the patients who are needy and you have you have to your clinic should be uh, visible to the patient till that time you need to have some budget according to the market what you want to do so types of marketing are lots are there but only thing is you have to slowly slowly strategically you want to put money into the market i'll come to those points the first uh, first first point in uh, marketing is your place of work place of work is a big marketing for anyone so if you if you if you put your clinic somewhere which we bear there is no visibility so that doesn't work and the name of the work also app name should be there so that app name and also app logo this is very very important to people understand see a lot of pain pain clinics you know they get misunderstood with the uh, ayurvedic and homeopathy and also physiotherapy so you need to uh, put a classy name with a proper logo that uh, this is the allopathic discipline and also you no know, this this goes on when you when you have multiple centers and also you no know, uh, people will know that you no know, there is something has come up in allopathy where uh, we need not go for surgery and launch of the clinic also should be very visible with the some with some vip and when you launch a clinic a lot of doctors should know that you'll be doing this job and th- those doctors might might uh, favorably or uh, you know potentially can send some patients to you generally it is not the case as dr kailash is telling you no, don't depend on the doctors to send cases but doctors will send cases over a period of time initially no one wants to uh, you know share their patients to us so they want to do something else or they want to keep the patient with us but launch of the clinic and uh, familiarity am- among the doctors should be there so that you no know, some some percentage of doctors who are really interested in pain management they'll send case the next thing is the digital marketing digital marketing is nothing but you no know, so everyone is having uh, cell phones you no know, smartphones where they will search for the uh, for their for, uh, chronic pain ailments for the you know for google for the internet and in the facebook and also digital marketing is very very highly potential kind of marketing very vital marketing module where you no know, you get immediate patients so newspapers even though newspapers are the mainstay of the traditional you know kind of marketing they are expensive but at some stage you should start doing the newspaper also and tv shows tv shows is very very important because you no know, all the all the common man common man likes to uh, see how a doctor talks so doctor uh, is doctor is a noble profession where you no know, they would like like to see how doctor talks uh, you know for the uh, for the questions given by the patients and also they they, they would like to see how we talk so uh, a live program or a recorded program in tv shows is also very very important in later parts the holdings these are expensive these this, this comes in the you know later part of the strategy lollipops are nothing but the you know screens which are uh, put on the uh, medians of the traffic traffic umbrellas are where where you you the weather uh, traffic constables uh, uh, stands and changes the signals those are the other things and uh, finally uh, when you when you when when you when you start earning good am- amount of revenue sponsorship to the events like music uh, uh, you know uh, launches and also film launches and, ch- and um, uh, events like uh, you know 
uh, marathon runs and a lot of things will be there which 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 will create a good branding for you to you no know, no make your practice more viable achievements so as a news article you you get some award in ima so that news article you try to uh, talk to the news people and put it as a news article not an advertisement so that gives more credibility to your practice more credibility to your clinic and also yourself finally philanthropy where you 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 cha- do a charity charity is also creates a lot of good thing good good goodness in you and in your clinic so that these are all the types of marketing uh, which are available right now the traditional marketing which generally you know <clears throat> is followed for uh, big big uh, you know um, like soaps or ha- shampoos they are they are big uh, multinational companies they use newspapers they put it in magazines they they do use this uh, screens in the cities and also the standees but this this can be done this can be done not in the initial stages but when when you start getting revenue you will have an idea that i should uh, put it in newspapers also the basical basically disadvantage of the tra- traditional marketing is they are very expensive so initially don't uh, try to uh, you know um, jump into these things because they they they, they have they, they involve a lot of money so other ca- classification of uh, you know uh, uh, different types of marketing is marketing for immediate response so you 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 have your working capital for 6 months but what you need is to to for the survival of the center for the survival of you you need to see what are all the marketing strategies for immediate response you you start today marketing tomorrow onwards no you should get some calls and some some patients and there is another marketing which is known as marketing for branding branding is for a long term as i told you lot of investors are waiting for these stand alone stand alone clinics to be invested because no stand alone i told you in pain management especially there is a huge amount of profit involved in this each procedure if you do for 1 rupee almost like 60 to 70 percent so 70 paisa is the profit what we can get so this this particular branding is to no no keep a keep keep a, people will keep a watch on you so that no immediate response will not be there but it will be continuously kind of uh, you know uh, keeping a buzz about your clinic and about your name so marketing for immediate response you start your clinic and you have some capital money and how to start so first thing is the social media the social media is the is a very uh, you know uh, valid uh, you know kind of module in uh, getting immediate response the first one is the facebook and also the google instagram and youtube so linkedin is a kind of professional thing so you need to concentrate on these uh, uh, the social media marketing social media marketing you should have some idea but you should hire someone uh, who is good at doing social marketing and you need to ca- concentrate mainly on facebook youtube twitter and instagram and of course the google so social media before starting the social media everyone should have a beautiful website so website is is the one which is the which is the face of that particular clinic which is the face of that particular business so in the website very very important content uh, the point is the content should be written by the doctor himself if you are the pain specialist all the content like different types of headaches what is headache how many types of headaches a common man what he expects from that website those things you have to write and you have to mention about the treatment options how to identify so a good content is only done by the doctor himself if you are the owner of this that part pain specialty you need to do the content don't give the content to any professionals even the professional is a doctor they cannot uh, you know uh, fulfill the need what we want in the web- website and you need to talk to the digital expert for the se- search engine optimization this is nothing but no if someone clicks in the uh, on the in the google the best pain management center our name should come in first this seo is a continuous process you need to tell your digital expert that every day search engine optimization should be done and i have to be in the first or first first three or four brand awareness this is what I, i've been talking to you so a lot of future expansion will be there when you are social media continuously gives you a visibility to a lot of people people will be watching a lot of people have got lots of money to invest in which healthcare so health healthcare is the 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 best investment for for for, for a venture capitalists venture capitalists are, are those guys who have lakhs of uh, you know crores of rupees so they they look in healthcare but healthcare as i told you lot of healthcare are around 15 to 20 even you take apollo or asho the profits are just around 15 to 20 you they'll be seeing you no know, which 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 so, you know specialty has got a more amount of so for that 
in social media the brand awareness should be continuously happening for all these things good digital expert is needed a smart guy even though if he is a junior you know you have to pay some money and you sit with him and tell the uh, importance of the pain speciality just that now you ask him to make a website for pain management he will go and search in pain management and anywhere in the world no the the pain management uh, success is not that much because no all all through the world no people people and also the healthcare professionals they look into surgery only non surgical they don't give that importance so that's why you need to sit with the digital expert and tell him though that the importance of this one and the the real uh, you know reach where you have to go and all and regular meetings you have to conduct with him so that you no know, he understands what is pain management and prepare the ads he can prepare the live talks as i told you live talks on the facebook are very very inexpensive very cheap you can talk on anything like you no know, knee joint pain or spine pain or give give you take take the you know answer the questions and also the charts and try to convert them in, into again you know call them and again tell them that you have asked this question and always you no know, facebook query should be connected to the website whenever the patient wants to uh, have a query or put in book an appointment it has to be connected to the website these all things the digital expert will do instagram is also very a lot of people they 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 see they use instagram for the entertainment but those people who are having pains you know they also look into the instagram and uh, you need to tell them the instagram also my presence should be there google ads are very very important because in the in the google ads uh, a problem what we have experienced is if we put as a regenerative therapy you now they are not accepting but you have to have uh, you know you should not be uh, mentioning about regenerative this is what we have been facing almost 5 5 years so but google ads uh, for all the other things like spine head and neck and cancer pain you can do but this this also you have to sit with the digital expert youtube youtube g- can give an excellent response because you know youtube is the is, is the is the video link you know, video you know app where you no know, people will be searching for the, you you give a talk record it and put it in the uh, youtube no and youtube seos also the digital expert should do so we need to um, uh, put a if you, if you if you do a tv talk that video should be uh, directly linked up to the youtube then that youtube no will be giving a lot of impressions and all youtube is also very well. linkedin is a professional kind of uh, you know your 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 name and your your professional things will be there in social media at most important is the patient testimonial you got, you have a good patient who says that i got i got very good relief coming to your clinic take an immediate video testimonial from that patient and also a google review google review is a take take his mobile uh, open your uh, what do you call uh, website and review ask him to write the review so that the that patients uh, uh, testimonials they 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 give a an excellent uh, you know response for you in terms of uh, uh, your practice so benefits of social media or you can reach to a, a large area of geographic uh, you know uh, area with the different digital channels to meet bigger because uh, you can reach to a larger population with a very less amount of money uh, unlike newspapers or tv channels so it's very very important social media can give you a lot of patience because you know all the people who are searching for their help are there on the mobiles they'll be searching over there even the you you go to uh, in in andhra pradesh and telangana you go to villages also they don't have a uh, you know uh, physical newspaper they all the villages they 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 see uh, news on the mobile so this this, this is how the social media marketing can give you a higher street with a with with a very less cost measure you can uh, re, um, measure the results like Uh, you need to ask the digital expert to, to give the results every week so how much money you have put how much is the response from the people and how much how many calls you got and how many patients have turned as a patients to you so the, every every week to they give a uh, report to you and accordingly you know you, with your all conscious you no know, you you will you will try to increase your uh, um, budget in in putting the um, money into the social media so this social media can give a personal touch like they can directly uh, do do uh, chatting with you then you can respond or your team can respond directly which doesn't happen in it live tv shows or uh, you know newspapers other options for immediate response these are all the things which immediately you can uh, give you uh, uh, patience so that is m- more important so newspaper ads these are a bit expensive but very worthful if you are you are in, uh, in local language all these things are in local language don't go for 
english uh, or any other languages initially so english language will will fetch you very very few people will be seeing but if you if you are in maharashtra try to do it in a, you know a marathi only so newspaper ads are there if you, if you if you if you have a good amount of money the number one paper you take and give a, a good uh, you know uh, kind of uh, information about your clinic and what the what is the uniqueness of your clinic in teach in treating the uh, chronic pain and always your ad should be like no you don't need a surgery that is more important people are looking for that no you 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 cannot uh, favor a surgery you have to say that surgery is not necessary we can treat your uh, what are the pain is without surgery and tv shows are also very very important if you have a marathi channels in your area where or, or any other language no you you catch all of two or three tv tv channels where the, where there is no there is maximum uh, you know viewership so th- this this is not as expensive as uh, newspapers but this can uh, the two ways it it will uh, it will it will give you a good response immediately patients will call you have a number over there immediately patients will call and this tv show immediately gets connected to youtube so that in the youtube no whenever you 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 type like your clinic name that those youtubes will come these these are uh, not that expensive as uh, newspapers but not as cheap as digital but these are also a uh, things which can immediately give you uh, you know response and you can uh, get the good footfall news magazines are these things uh, which actually we started in uh, ap telangana news magazine is if you have a paper okay which is very very famous in your area there will be a news magazine which is there in the sundays so only one weekly once you will get that magazine you need try to put an advertisement on that so that what will happen is the whole week the, the the all the all the people know would like to they 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 have the access to see that so this is another uh, you know finding which we have got and we we do more ads in the news magazines and recently an, an ad we have done with a uh, uh, with uh, one of the senior actress in telugu and tamil where we have uh, put this ad in a devotion channels so devotion channels are mostly seen by the oldies like you know uh, Uh, 60s uh, above 50 so that will be continuously running in that home they'll be doing their works this this particular devotion channels they have given a huge response to us in terms of footfall into the clinics so then the next one is after you made us marketing for the brand this is for a future brand, future you know uh, what the, the growth of your clinic so this this is is a slow process but you need to focus on this also so visibility among doctors talking to the doctors about our treatment and uh, you need to in ims you have to go and whenever there is a chance as a faculty you go and talk to them talks in the medical forums and for public forums also and liaison with the lions club and rotary clubs or any other clubs because a lot of um, older you know uh, age group people will be there they'll be looking for this and clubs clubs they, they kind of spread the word like anything you you, you need to Uh, go regularly because as a doctors no we don't do all these things but we need to do now and then and uh, get acquainted to such type of activities boards hoarding traffic cameras these are only for the branding immediate response you will not not get even the radio jingles which which happen they they will give a branding but directly patients coming it will take some time but once you have an immediate marketing then afterwards you can try all these things sponsoring events and charity all these things no they attract the investors so they'll be watching you and if you're growing slowly slowly you know getting uh, known by people they'll be uh, saying this so all these things are there immediate and uh, late but there is a strategy to do that so strategy is phase 1 in phase 1 marketing only possible if you have your own full setup you have a small clinic and go somewhere and operate that doesn't give to you much of you, your marketing will not fetch you anything because you have your full setup you have all the liberty to do whatever you want so that is very very important own full setup is the likely thing so what i tell you is you no know, if you want to have a clinic you no know, don't have a clinic lend some money have a full setup full setup of around 2050 which will suffice and and all kind of you no know, everything you you have all the operation theater and all the equipment and exclusive specialty don't mix with any other specialty this is this is the marketing like your spouse is a dermatologist don't mix uh, your clinic with dermatology because the focus on exclusively doing your practice no will be lessened 
so uh, uh, mixing with some other friends where who is an orthopedician who don't do that so marketing is always when you are having a uniqueness when you have your own center when you your when you focus on you, your marketing as an exclusive specialty prepare a project keep working capital at least for 6 months now every month you have to keep some money for the marketing even though you don't get anything back so hire a digital marketing expert start with digital marketing you first after setting up the clinic digital marketing is the first thing which you need to uh, put some money in that and tell the digital expert what exactly you want to have no as a, as as a, as a response so you tell him no the, about the specialty he should understand what is this what is the importance of this just like that no he cannot open a website just like that he cannot make any ads content should be prepared by you, you only i told you keep a watch on daily activity how much he is spending where he is putting the money from where the patients are coming if you don't know that no where the patients are coming and where the patients where your money is going waste no there is no point no putting the money over there sometimes you you start facebook ads no you get patients no who are very uh, low economic like kind of they they can't even uh, spend 100 rupees as a you know apna uh, uh, consultation fee so th- that there's no point targeting that area you have to have careful budgeting and initial start should be like no in digital keep uh, at least three or four forums you know, you start you keep a buzz on that so people will know that yeah yeah this is this i have seen in instagram this i have seen in facebook this i have seen in uh, you know google so in phase 2 once the when you start getting revenue okay now now in phase, you go to phase 2 where no newspaper highly circulated and very reputed newspaper you have to select you don't select a small newspapers where you don't get anything so you just you, you, you think that no uh, uh, keeping a small amount of money you get small amount of patient you will not get any patient so keep a good amount of money put it in a highly circulated and reputed there should be a credible newspaper uh, where no people should like that it should not be biased that you can always no uh, identify and uh, decide on your own because you you kind of uh, uh, you are there from that place give more information not the commercial content don't tell them no i i can do uh, treatment of your new without surgery that should not be the heading you should talk give information like no what are the causes of knee pain what are all the other things so what what the things and finally you will in the last paragraph try to uh, put put a, a what you do and what is the specialty what you do so this is known as advertorial it's not advertisement it's not editorial you pay some money do an advertisement which is called advertorial so it is like advertisement with the ed- editors you give information and also there is a common commercial content where you put your you know uh, numbers of the clinic the title should be very impactful like title when you, when someone sees no that it should be very appealing it should immediately uh, you know ad- uh, have the attention of that patient so you need to think that no what what title and you keep changing the title every time only one title that doesn't uh, uh, you know fetch you much always add your photo people would like to see the you, your photo in the paper and when they come to the clinic no they'll dis- discuss on you like no yeah, yeah this 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 doctor is looking different from the um, ad in the paper so always they like your your photo so always add your photo pictorial presentation of whatever you do you do prp you do a spine injection you do trigeminal a pictorial presentation like it is a small needle injection that is going to cure you that's very very important in all the newspapers or in any facebook ads content should be always be careful it should be like allopathic discipline people should not mistaken it for any you know ayurvedic or homeopathy or physiotherapy so this is this is how from phase 1 to we go to phase 2 and when you do all these things after that now you will have a vast amount of personal experience how to go about you you will be knowing now where the patients are where you're getting the fa- fetching the patients where your money is wasting you will you will stop that where you are getting patient you put more money into that marketing and that mark- marketing uh, you know mod- module so this is a basically a personal kind of experience no you 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 try to have a marketing uh, expert that's a waste of money don't do that okay you try to do on it on your own maybe after you you know growing very big no you have a uh, excellent uh, Uh, returns you are coming and you have surplus money then you can you can have a marketing head or a business head right now we are the business heads and we are the marketing heads so tv live shows these these are very 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 good uh, uh, rim, you know uh, armamentarium in this marketing because you no know, tv live shows so people uh, in andhra telangana uh, 
three o'clock to three thirty in the afternoon are the TV shows in all the TVs. So people are got accustomed to see uh, a solution for their queries in this in this in this time three to three thirty. So so try to try to speak uh, try to uh, do a live shows to the patient. So patient wants to talk to you. live in the phone they they are, they are very much interested a recorded program doesn't fetch you much patients do a live programs news channel shoot of the center and procedure whenever you want a uh, you know um, you ask a news channel to come to the center and you give some interview and also shoot the procedure and put it in youtube put it in facebook that will fetch you a lot of patients because it's more realistic so it doesn't cost much also and boosting this new, uh, new channel shoot into the facebook and instagram is very very important writing blogs to your website will create a you know uh, attraction towards the intellectual patients like uh, you know patients who are uh, good at uh, you know uh, reading editorials and all no? you give a, a story story about patient to story about uh, you know uh, um, what you call um, your treatment that's that gives a lot of uh, you know the online channels of major television channels and newspapers are these are online if you have a newspaper they have an online uh, also they have a lot of subscriptions you can do that just like a newspaper has come up way to news which is uh, basically uh, online newspaper people will be in reading all those things so response to marketing is very very important that means you should have a telecalling telecall should be there one or two to start with all the calls they should receive prompt answering clarity in answering and pleasing and you should have at least if you if you are spending a 1 rupee and you are getting at least 100 calls 20% that means 20 people should come to your clinic so the telecalling should be so efficient no 100 calls they get 20 patients should come into the clinic this is this is what you need to do marketing at your clinic once the patient comes to good clean signage board information staff should always be talk very positive about the treatment they should be talking 100% about positive about the treatment but when they come to you you will give the real real picture so we cannot say that no 100% i can cure but patient staff should be talking 100% to the positive and all the procedure are, it should be in operation theater because if you do it in office or you know in, in a small room that doesn't fetch you anything a proper what dress and id bands this is also marketing because other patients who look at the patient no you are taking the patient into the operation that with the what it does and all they feel that yeah they, this is there is something some some special thing that they don't feel should feel that no it's just a small injection so photographs of the achievements should be there in the clinic so meta marketing analysis every month about the response meet the telecallers and talk to them money spent and return on investment how much we have spent this month how much we have got so i told you know there has to be balance of the spent and earned that is why increase the footfall every month and increase the procedures done every month that should be there you have to take care of that every month there should be an increase in the footfall increase in the procedures and increase in the revenue and uh, every month you have to uh, you have to uh, sit with the team and uh, think about where to put money where to stop some areas you will not get money stop there and uh, and put the money in in some other things how to enhance the marketing but every month you have to increase at least you no know, 10 to 20% your income into the marketing every month because you no know, once you start getting you, know, you can you can do that so take home message in the marketing is marketing is an individual thinking skill it's not see a lot of uh, agents will they'll come uh, when you start investing money into the market you no know, lot of people will come sir this is a good opportunity to do this is one uh, listen to them listen to them and but take your own discretion you need to have your own thing to start with and slowly slowly you will get all the experience to uh, kind of you know, where to put money where you you, you you should withdraw the money the more you think about it more you do it properly that's why i told you know it should be exclusively your clinic don't mix up with anyone else because you no know, you mix, mix up with few people you have to think about them also but if you have own clinic it's yours then you will think more about it more amount of ideas more ever amount of marketing skills you get you don't need any experts to guide i already told you marketing agency will only make you spend money okay they they will not see the result so you yourself only spend money and you you see the result they they just come they'll say that this has got a huge uh, what do you call uh, you know response to this but that is not that you have to have see after doing 6 months or 1 year no you will be knowing you are the best marketing agent for your clinic so result will be so but you have to wait the doctor is the best assessor of the marketing so because you know who are the patients coming how much you are earning and all so this is this is how it is goes 
So these are the two EPM centers in India, Hyderabad and Chennai. This is the new center. It's coming up in uh, uh, you know Hyderabad. Uh, this is a new version. We are starting it in next month, and we are within six months. We are starting uh, in Dubai. This is a JLT Mazaya. Not all this uh, this building is, is is given to us. The the ground floor we are taking around seven thousand SFT. We might start it uh, uh, in, in a year. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Sudhir. Excellent presentation and uh, something to look forward. Your voice so, is not coming. <laughs> Come. Hello, you, you are not audible. Ah, uh, is audible, no? sir. Yes. Can you can you hear me, Sudhir? Yeah, sir? I can hear you. I can yeah. hear you. Can you okay. hear me? Yeah, yeah. So first thing I understood, paisa bhagwan nahi, par bhagwan se uh, kam bhi nahi hai. So so in uh, what i understood because the ortho is one of the most sought after branch because of the money they are getting so once the the people see the money in the pain branch the this branch will also grow in future because right now what is happening the anesthetists they are uh, very much used to the instant money they are getting from the anesthesia and they are not shifting to the pain management so eventually after looking at sudhir and kailash and everybody and uh, maybe the listeners here who will to who will be doing the mar good marketing and good practice so a lot of people will uh, get involved in <coughs> management and our branch will grow eventually so there are a lot of questions here the one most important question i can see is what is the legality about this marketing so that is question for you hello Am I audible? No, you are not audible. Uh, Sudhir sir, we can hear each other. I think there is some device issue with you. You can't hear us. I think you need to. Uh, I I'll talk to him on phone. I think he need to log out and re-log in. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, Sudhir sir. अच्छा leave and come back again. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So my question to Kailash sir is like. Uh, many of us have pain clinics we start of course with the pain clinics in the initial days and then we have setups where we go and perform the procedures so when we are planning to have hospitals and of course we have to start with some you know basic funding and capital investment so when you mentioned about uh, investors or venture capitalists what should be the take on their uh, time of entry into the project as far as investment and equity is concerned so basically when uh, uh, we are talking about uh, venture capitalists or angel investors so make sure that uh, the uh, you are you are working and you are making this business successful so especially in say, uh, single specialty clinic it is your specialty so right. you uh, whatever you are going to uh, take investment it should be a very minor uh, equity to them it should not be a large part of equity because as you grow this whatever is a uh, 10 lakhs or 1 crore today it will grow into maybe 100 crore or maybe 500 crore okay, if your business plan is good so that time that time it will pinch you so don't go very fast but at the same time take a uh, very calculated uh, <coughs> investment then try to be as low as possible you don't uh, take big one but if somebody is coming to you and he want a, a large chunk but it is also allowing you to grow very fast like from one center if he is allowing you to grow to maybe 20 centers and he is investing that much amount he will he will take more but from uh, today whatever is your worth you are direct directly growing from 1 to 20 
you you are growing 20 times so then you have to calculate that and uh, you may take uh, for a more equity so it all depends uh, what is the offer and uh, wh- how much you want basically right. when investor comes to you they will ask you what what is your requirement so you should be very clear about what is your requirement it is it is uh, n- never what they offer right. so you say i want to give you only 1% and i want maybe uh, 5 crore they have to see your business plan your whatever is uh, your earning okay. in your center and then they will calculate whether it is worth or not okay so and we, sir for uh, uh, this kind of dealings like should we have a lawyer like we are absolutely unaware of such yeah, of course, of dealings, course. Yeah, so there's a, there's a, there's a, always, yeah. yeah of course there there's a there's the entire team is there lawyers are there accountants are there right. you cannot do it yourself Talk with the company you, secretary also company. yeah company secretary you have to have so sudhir uh, we are very short of time so sudhir one uh, one one question coming constantly that is what is the legality of this marketing thing when you are doing marketing on social media yeah yeah, yeah sir legality yes uh, you know we don't know actually uh, what they say you know doctor's name should not be there okay clinic name can be you know uh, put but uh, right now we are putting the doctor's name and also this we with with the proper you know uh, what you call advice from the legal lawyers they say every one is doing this actual legal legality is no you can uh, you know publicize your clinic not a doctor name that's what they say that's what the the medical legal lawyers they say but no in in the market no every one is like promoting the doctors the doctors are the face basically the corporate hospitals and also the clinics so we've been doing it since <laughs> five years we never had any problem like no Uh, putting a doctor's name and clinics, uh, you know, numbers and all. So legality, they say there is only clinic name should be there and not the doctor's name. So doctor should not be, you know, uh, what you call marketed. But so if you if you see Uttam, uh, Uttam, what uh, for this question? It is uh, better to if you have a clinic, it is better to promote the clinic because see, yeah. problem may come any time. It, it will not. come today maybe not tomorrow maybe after 5 years it may come so legally in medical medical medically in medical uh, field the doctor's name should not be there so you can uh, write a clinic's name and doctor's name only can be there when you are visiting maybe once a, so you have a center in chennai suppose sudhir mm-hmm. and you you are visiting there so you can write the uh, 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 your clinic name and dr sudhir dara visiting during this this time and this is days so that that kind of advertisement can be done but you cannot have only uh, repeated advertisement for your own clinic with your doctor's name clinic can advertise company can advertise company but can not the doctor yeah well, one thing one thing i understood that you can form a llp and you can or either you can form a company if you are not comfortable with the company at least you form a llp <laughs> then llp name you can uh, market That is what yeah, I have understood. Pro- the uh, but in in proprietary form, there is a problem. If you are yeah, proprietor, proprietor is there is a problem. So it should be the LLP or mm-hmm. it should be the company. See, LLP name is not a clinic's name, no. So LLP will be different. Like LLP, you can add your name, but it will be like a private company or LLP that cannot be put as a you know the, the brand address, of, address of your advertisement. So LLP is completely for the you know administration kind of. No, thing. but your clinic name also can come. Like suppose no, Apion is a Apion is a clinic name and X Y Z is a LLP name. So you can uh, in small you can write uh, uh, their LLP name and big big will be Apion. But legally, clinical name can be there. So basically, the big yeah, title clinic. will be the clinical name only. Doctor will be you know at at, at the last of the advertisement at the corner of the advertisement. You put doctor. You cannot put your your face as the uh, you know three fourth of the advertisement. Advertisement. The doctor's name should be a small. And as, as you said, it should be as you said it should be the informative. Not should you should not commit uh, something. It should be informative thing. Yeah, in advertorial, so advert, advertorial, advertorial, it can be there. In advertorial, doctor's yeah. name, photo, everything can be there. Phone number, email ID, everything can be there. Hmm. Not a so, standalone advertisement, which is ten by ten, or a tutorial kind of thing. No, it gives a, a, a good impression to the audience. Like, no, see, we we have we we have tried a, a, a lot of advertisements in Times of India. No call will come from Times of India. 
because no it doesn't have a credibility in hyderabad at least because times of india is highly circulated so mm-hmm. people they they like the opposition they 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 advertise no like knee replacement surgery rupees 1 lakh 25000 no one will they will get call it, it it it's good for branding but no that's why editorial is very important giving an information okay then yeah. you know putting it as a highly commercial <laughs> then, uh, commercial thing will not uh, be a credible one people will not like you so you give some information finally in the in the last paragraph what you tell about your treatment no that will be good like so people will regularly see your ads like this guy is not a highly commercial guy but at the end of this is commercial only but only thing is no at least that part of thing is you should take care of so thank you thank you both of you because we are we have crossed our limit we are now almost at 9:30 here mm-hmm. and almost 75 people participants were there for this uh, this thing uh, we, webinar so it's a huge success and uh, you all register for our uh, assessment con 23 uh, 24 sorry 24. pune <laughs> so that you will have a, a great such uh, uh, different kinds of lectures you will see in that conference so you please register for that conference and you are all you should have have a, have a link here itself so that immediately they can <laughs> yes sir dr yes, nankar namaskar dr nankar namaskar <laughs> i'll circulate it soon sir it. okay so, so uh, on behalf of sspp yeah i i am concluding yeah i'm giving a vote of thanks now big 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 vote of thanks to our speakers dr kailash kothari and dr sudhir dara for little you know not so very commonly discussed topic but the need of an r and they both have really put it across with elaborate uh, presentation and very crisp description of it and big 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 thanks to our participants we had almost 75 participants today live in the session at the same time we are going live on five platforms by anesthesia tv on sspp's uh, facebook page anesthesia facebook page and uh, youtube links so thanks to anesthesia tv for taking us on five live platforms at the same time and this meeting was not possible without the initiative of dr uttam siddhe on behalf of dinanath mangeshkar hospital so thank you for providing us today's meeting and excellent topics with the esteemed speakers <coughs> and my you all members sir sspp members for you know promoting this meeting and <laughs> successfully marketing today's session with uh, all across the globe so thank you everyone thank, thank you thank Thanks you thank you sir thank you bye good night good night good night bye